First at six, the new owners of a troubled apartment complex in the medical district will have to wait longer if it hopes to get tax dollars to improve the building. Thanks for joining us. I'm Richard Ransom. And I'm Pepper Baker. More than four months ago, Richmond Asset Management took over the property after years of resident complaints ranging from broken elevators and AC units to mold. But today, a local board denied Richmond's application to take part in a tax incentive program. Our Desmond Nugent is live outside that property right now. So Desmond, uh, what is next for Memphis Towers and not only for their owners, but also of course for the tenants too? Richard Pepper, it'll be another two months before that management group can be considered for that incentive program. Now I did speak to a few residents here who had the opportunity to share with that owner why things aren't getting done. So since the last time you, uh, you both was here, my mailbox has been broken in four times. For the first time in months, residents at Memphis Towers gave a laundry list of issues they say are being overlooked by their complex's new owner, Richmond Assessment Management. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. Memphis Towers residents weighed in Wednesday and kept the pressure on Richmond to improve the building four months after the company took over the property from Millennia Companies. Tenants are tired and they wanted answers and demanded the pilot not be reinstated to Richmond just because they have come and made a few changes. On Wednesday, Memphis's Health, Education and Housing Board members denied the new owner approval to get reinstated from an incentive program meant to renovate buildings with tax dollars. The board says the new owner failed to reach the residency capacity requirement of 75% and hasn't yet addressed all tenants' basic concerns. Brian Myers with Richmond told those tenants he wasn't aware of their outline problems. We are at fault if we don't react to it, right? right. We're going to do everything we can. You guys have brought a lot of stuff to our attention. Myers says they have installed 45 new cameras and increased security. He says they will hold current employees accountable if they aren't doing their job. Now again, this board is set to meet in September to see if Richmond should be reconsidered for that for that incentive program. We will keep you posted. Live at Memphis Towers, I'm Desmond Nugent.